Good morning everyone. Welcome to this morning Holy Eucharistic celebration. Prayer for Divine Retreat Center, Summersby. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the Divine Retreat Center, Summersby. May your Holy Presence fill this house of prayer. In this your temple, may the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions and let your Holy Spirit rest upon it. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Entrance and defend. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we celebrate this Eucharist, let us pray for all the agencies trying to find a cure and a vaccine for this COVID-19. We thank the Lord for the advancements the Lord has given in this field. And we pray for more and more of His grace and wisdom upon all the agencies trying to find a cure. Let's also offer our heart, mind and soul unto the Lord as this is the first day of September. Let us offer the whole month into the hand of the Lord with all the plans we have for this month and all that we have seen, foreseen. Let us offer all that unto the Lord and ask of His grace and strength. Brethren, let's be called to mind all our sins and ask forgiveness from the Lord to make us worthy to celebrate this Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Be seated for the readings. First reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. The Spirit reaches the depths of everything, even the depths of God. After all, the depths of a man can only be known by his own spirit, not by any other man. And in the same way, the depths of God can only be known by the Spirit of God. Now, instead of the spirit of the world, we have received the spirit that comes from God to teach us to understand the gifts that 
he has given us. Therefore, we teach not in the way in, the, in which philosophy is taught, but in the way that the Spirit teaches us. We teach spiritual things spiritually. An unspiritual person is one who does not accept anything of the Spirit of God. He sees it all as nonsense. It is beyond his understanding because it can only be understood by means of the Spirit. A spiritual man, on the other hand, is able to judge the value of everything and his own value is not to be judged by the other men. As scripture, say, as scripture says, who can know the mind of the Lord so we can teach him? But we are those who have the mind of Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Responsorial Sam, the Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures? A response, the Lord is just in all his ways. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord. And your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign. Declare your might, O God, to make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. A response, the Lord is just in all his ways. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. The Lord is faithful in all his words, loving in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall, raises all who are bowed down. Response, the Lord is just in all his ways. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went down to Capernaum a town in Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath. And his teaching made a deep impression on them because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man who was possessed by the spirit of an unclean devil. And he shouted at the top of his voice, Ha! What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are the Holy One of God. But Jesus said sharply, Be quiet, come out of him. And the devil, throwing the man down in front of everyone, went out of him without hurting him at all. Astonishment seized them, and they were all saying to one another, What teaching? He gives orders to unclean spirits with authority and power, and they come out. And reports of him went all through the surrounding countryside. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Be seated for the readings. Sorry, be seated. Sorry. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today, as we go into the world, to our day to day life, our things of this day, the Lord is giving us the hope. Give go believing that the Lord has power. Jesus has power above everything. Whatever it is. Today in the gospel we see this unclean spirit. That man possessed with unclean spirit. Jesus healing that man with his authority and power. So as we go into the world. 
Jesus is telling us today in the gospel, in this message, that you go into the world since you believe in me, believe that I have authority and power over everything. So surrender ourselves into the power of the Lord and go into the world and do whatever we do. So it's an invitation for us to believe more, trust more in the power of the Lord. And at times it happens when we go, uh, when, we, when, we, when we are challenged, when we are uh, uh, encountered with certain challenges of our life, we ourselves doubt that if the Lord is with us, if he is working for us, if he is having power over things of my life, Jesus is telling, do not doubt this day. Whatever challenge you are to face, go and go into the world with that, that belief and faith and trust in you that Jesus has got authority and power over everything. Be it unclean spirits, be it the natural things, whatever it is, the Lord has got power. So today, my dear sisters and brothers, every moment as we go forward, let us have this trust all the time saying in our heart, Jesus has power and authority over everything and I belong to Jesus. That will protect us. And that will help us to be strong in everything. Let us pray. God, our Heavenly Father, we offer unto you everything, especially this day, and especially those things we do not know that we are going to encounter, the challenges of this day. Lord, we pray for this grace to have the trust in us that you have power and authority over everything and we belong to you. Give us a grace, O oh Lord, to stay connected to you all the time in our this day. Especially we offer this month of September. Lord, have your hand and power your way in our lives this whole month. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this, sac <clears throat> may this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. And by his suffering, cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. In the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you. So let's offer each other sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but just say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, especially those who cannot go to church today physically and receive the Lord, it's your time of spiritual communion. We say this spiritual prayer of spiritual communion and invite the Lord into our heart. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I decide to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body and blood of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Communion and defend. How great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you.
Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty Lord bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's serve the Lord in love and peace. Thanks be to the Lord. <coughs> Prayer to Saint Michael. Saint, Saint Michael, Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. We are safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O Jesus, eternal priest, keep all your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may harm them. Keep unstained their anointed hands, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, purple with your precious blood. Keep your unearthly their hearts, sealed with the sublimate marks of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruit. And may the souls to whom they have ministered to be their joy and consolation and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown.